the Lord is saying to me as we are just raising a prayer that we need to just ask him to help our hearts he's saying to me Sifika Goguti is on we have to be here and so we are here we are no longer coming to him as young babes in the spirit and wanting him to change us to transform us eagerly and awaiting with expectation and full of faith that we won't live the same utukulungulu sesi zangoba vele umkuba woguti nge sonto uziwe nkonzweni kota mele si mkela sise that whenever we come before him skumbulu utu we are not just coming to a man he wants us to go back to that place where we would come to him in expectation and in faith where it was no longer about the fact that because i'm serving i have to be here or because it's a sunday i can't sit at home but season of what class we need to come we need to come we can't play church Unless somebody will decide and purpose in their heart. Uti mina ngabezu wabanyi ngizele mina. Futi ngazi there is something he will do for me. If he won't do something for me, he will make me or do me. Ake mina. Umo yungwe luta akseko loko. That's why people who are new converts back July will come in and they will testify week after week after week and will wonder why. It's because they have figure by figure without any expectations. But Zelen Baba Wabo says, Uluini, there's what to a no mu in Tantane, what to no Baba says, Uluini, so long to so that says the eating Zen Baba Wabo says, and as um Pateleni, but I equally await and expect from him. And say, Lord, help my heart to be like that of a child. Give the expectant and full of faith. Worship team, you can go down and pray for yourself. Thank you so much. Loyal, na loyal. Loyal, na loyal. Whether you're an usher, whether you are a band. Loyal, na loyal. Agas trelele go akuba. I do not know if your family has abandoned you. I do not know if it seems blurry. Shall we go on? But I'm getting a call and I'm standing over the Baba Wako. Who goes? Who's in control? Is a Baba Wako. It's very good to have come, but don't just come to us. Don't just come to pay.
giving me a shout and a thanksgiving offering. another clap. Hallelujah. That clap doesn't sound like somebody who has a father. you came for i'm telling you it's done hallelujah uh, amen uh, i'd like to greet you all in the matchless name of our lord and savior jesus amen uh, welcome to kingdom ambassadors network international amen please just look to your left or to your right and tell your neighbor you did well by coming Hallelujah. Tell, make sure you tell at least two or three people you did well by coming. In fact, get on your feet and just greet somebody and say, you have done well by coming today. Tell them you have come to your father. Tell somebody you have come to your father today. Oh my God. You have come to your father. But when I'm in Kimela, I'm in Zegoa Mubaba. I can feel his touch. Hallelujah. Amen. Gabon, we're going to come to the end. Amen. Hallelujah. Can we bless the Lord for their life, the band, and the worship team? They are doing spectacular. honor God for their lives. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Um, yesterday, I, I'm wearing green because I think you can guess. Amen. Hallelujah. Who else is wearing green? Can they stand up? Who else is wearing green to honor? To honor what the Lord has done for us. Let me say this, I was wondering, now I'm not a sports fanatic, I'm not, to be honest with you, and I was wondering um, why yesterday we were traveling from KZ10 uh, with my family and Pastor N, and we got to my sister's house and I was just like, I'm just so tired, I'll see the score and I'll celebrate when I see the final. I felt a stir of the Holy Spirit, so it's, mm -mm. you need to go witness. He let test, they were busy unpacking the van. I, was, I just sat inside. I was just sat inside the house, the car. And they were unpacking into my sister's house. And he was about to come in and we were about to drive to midstream. And I, I just, there was just such a staring. 
me not a go witness and i jumped out actually and i said sorry pastor Ntlaka, i know you are so exhausted i need to see this there was about 10 minutes left for some reason well we went in we watched we know what happened the lord was merciful we won amen and i was just happy amen when i wake up this morning i realize i'm still glad and happy why am i so happy i'm not a sports fanatic i mean yes we won the world cup what's going on and Ngulungulu said if you realize it's not just happiness in your soul the soul is where the emotions sit so it's not just an emotional joy but it's in the spirit your spirit leaps for joy elizabeth that leap and i said why and he said because it was signifying is victorious in south africa over witchcraft of umgoma over voodoo and i had to ask the lord what does that mean and he said your opponents your opponents pride itself they pride themselves and i had to do quick research this morning they pride themselves in witchcraft and voodoo that's why they do these things they do this it's voodoo it's an enchantment and Ugulungulu once said to me, it was last year, we were in a certain church at that time. Some will remember I was rebuking a spirit of Umgoma and witchcraft. God, it's not the same spirit. And what the demon spoke back and said, some will remember. And we were it spoke out and said, Twelve in South Africa, you so sent on. And the Lord was signifying his all. No matter what spirit of witchcraft, voodoo, divination, whatever spirit you know, like on, as per our opponents, Mbulukul is still victorious. That's why he allowed it. Because he wanted us to know it's only through him. It's not because our, we had the better team. It's not because we had the better coach. But it's because it's through him. And he was signifying what no matter what witchcraft in South Africa, no matter what divination, echo no more South Africa. What does his What does his I do not know if your family has been that's the prophetic word he gave to me it's not just a bunch of boys winning against another nation it's god confirming over our nation over our families outfits this morning that's why i was a bit late i said i need something green to confirm the word the lord has spoken it's not just when we can't it was the more divination no more and the lord allowed it to be in a rugby match what would happen in the old testament what would he in a physical war he allowed it to be in a football game from yesterday going forward it, it, it's a time of in our nation in our I do not know what challenge you have been through, but receive this prophetic word. He has forged forward for you. You have been breaking free. It's now time to break forth. It's now time to break forth. Shake it, baby. Breaking free, it's now time to break 
forth. You are breaking forth. If you believe God, can you give a shout of victory? Can you give? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tell, tell your neighbor he's breaking forth for us. In fact, sorry, sorry. He, he just rebuked me. He said, I am not breaking forth for you. I have broken forth for you. Can you tell your neighbor he has broken forth for you and I? High five, five people. Give five people a handshake, a high five, and say the Lord has broken forth for you. From last night, he has broken forth for you. High five, another five. The food party, where the demonic headquarters are. And strike. He has broken forth for us. He has broken forth for us. Hallelujah. He has broken forth. Let us be sure. We are not so sure. We are coming to Jesus. We are coming to Can we shout for the Lord? Ben, you need to help us. Can we shout for the Lord? 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 our seats and give the Lord a mighty clap and a mighty shout as we take our seats. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is the right time to shout a shofar. Please make sure it's always here. This is exactly where we should be sounding a shofar. In goes this mobile. Get the Luham no more sack to lang or go in, tell our goose when looking at show you. In go see in no belly. Is it when Zee? Hallelujah. From experience, in go see in um Kubo Mobi. Walk with you, oh, my in Roba against the spirit of witchcraft. Certain people who have pride themselves as witches and warlocks start living this earth. By experience, Abandu who pride themselves as witches, the Tagatabandu as warlocks, causing disorder in the spiritual realm through the conduit of demons, they usually die. So, when certain people around you, please understand, some in this house know what I'm talking about, they have personal testimonies of that. Amen. It's not us. As soon as it's in a like I will beg to send them I know some senior ministers do it and the Lord bless them. I can't. I don't do such things. In course, himself who takes care of it. versus him. It doesn't help me shy sand the next day we have food. Sang Meli Pel. Amen. So it's not a demonic prayer. In King Abes Mobele, there are certain consequences. It's not us, ma. Some of you this week you'll call me and you'll say, and probably I won't allow you to come and testify such on Mutugin. That's not a testimony. But when you tell me, I will seal it in the name of Jesus. Amen. We are meeting this Saturday. Mike. I'm 
I don't know if it's my voice or I guess this one here a bit low. We are meeting this uh, Saturday. Guess what's talking a family picnic. Amen. Will you be there, saints of God? Will you be there? Will you be there? Amen. 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 It is a time to, I, 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 and I keep saying that it's on the church. The church is paying the bill. I'm not saying this just to go to the and wave it on your face. So you can see that 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 we are waving it in your face because we are saying no we are paying no i am saying because the lord said we we me him and ken we need to thank the saints each and every person under the sound of my voice amen we need to thank them for a successful year amen it has been successful it has been bumpy but it has been successful i'm well aware there is a gala dinner that we have which is a thanksgiving it's very good we gala dinner, however, guess what? Tati Mark, see, Kali said, Mamzan. See, said, Mami. See, said, Bakuman. See, can each person tell us their experience? Where can we improve? When can we pray together? What are your thoughts, your initial thoughts? Like, we can't in a gala dinner. Maybe two other leaders pay. But in this picnic, the church is thanking you, and we also want you to reflect no simple on the year you've had. Amen. I don't know if the media has those pictures of us in my living room. Amen. This is where, in, in, just before February, this is where we were. Amen. And we, we, the Lord has done us well. He has dealt with us very well. Amen. So we want to thank him, but we also want to reflect. Amen. Then but we don't reflect Utina Singam Shanga Beza Pungulunkulutu in better ourselves or become better. So it's a time to reflect, to laugh, to love. Please come with your family. Amen. I believe my big yard isn't my yard, my backyard isn't too big, but I trust so was Shala Sonki come to be. Amen. You have to come. Amen. You have to come, Bangladesh. Amen. Hallelujah. So, get a lugus bogun bona non kes pelele. Amen. Zobo unkulunkulu. And just reflect together. Amen. And get to know each other. Amen. Uh, today, I am teaching. Nagu velu restrooms. Today, I am teaching about purpose. Today, I am teaching about purpose. Somebody kept asking the Lord, Lord, what is my purpose and how do I know what I'm called for? And that prayer, I heard it verbatim. I heard it as it is. And I knew what I need to teach. Amen. As we're driving from KZN last night, I was battling. There were many things the Lord is saying. And I was like, Lord, I can't make it into one sermon. It's different themes. Which one do I start with? But this morning, maybe around between two and three, I knew its purpose. I prayed shortly and I just slept and I woke up this morning and I started then looking at scripture and so forth. Um, those who were with us at that time, I remember teaching purpose salapa in my living room. Um, and those who were there may recall in those notes, but I'm feeling a prompting in my heart to teach about purpose. Why Last week, I think it was last week or the week before, I was saying, Akeko umuntu ola emshabeni, gobaba zalba keba shangana, wase wabala. No aba zalba koba se chenzi swa njenge envelope. As a, 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 a conduit or a transport. Amen. Unkulunkulu wanted to send you onto the earth. Kwa mela kufagu envelope akambi. This envelope is your parents meeting intimately ube kona. Kwa ta song elasa dalelo to run an errand for God. Koni tunkulunkulu as dalela yona. And leo onto ibizu ange pepos. And ikbale ki lo gut lowa na lowa azu gut wa bize loani. Wa dalelo loani. Au bizu anga bangwe lo gutu sindi su uye zulwini. Uh, then you should have stayed in heaven. That's why I don't. Last week we talked about the seven what levels of the gospel. Amen. 
And Ubulugulu kept emphasizing that it's so good, you know, the gospel of salvation. But a pen lapo, Kulukula Kakle Tangalem Shabenu to send this Ruth. Then Uli Logulin to Guti Zulu, yeah, Masuya Hamba. What a waste. God is not that irresponsible. God knew that there are certain errands that must be run. Lekhenis in it, ne events, ken events team. Othobe go mamo, to mamtand, and I can't remember the other saints who are there. Oh, magzo ba ne event? No, no, lu. They run around running errands to make sure their event maselangana is excellent. They just do the run arounds. Ukulukulu was letela lok to do his run arounds limshabini. Ukuzemsha ebu uya, which is the great event. Everyone around us is ready. Amen. There's a purpose who are yona. And I pray by the mercy of God, you will fully understand your purpose. And not only will you understand it, you'll be equipped to execute it. So it's not to No resources are Oh, you are full of color, God, there are certain things attached to you. As in your, as again in your bloodline. Ayalwa, iyalwe mo, yaya again. I full of to pillar in purpose. Amen. Those are the things we will try and speak to and address today. And by the mercy of God, in the next 30 minutes, it will be done. Amen. Hallelujah. Let me begin this discourse by saying. There is a difference between purpose and assignment. There is a difference between purpose and assignment. Amen. I will make an example and I'll ask you, look at me, to understand. Well, but if I use English, Jess, if I borrow from your vocabulary and use the greatest English known to men, you may miss it. And I'm phoning in me, say, Amen. Do you see my hand? Do you see my hand? This is purpose. The palm of my hand is purpose. Purpose does not change. God can create you for A. Purpose doesn't change. Like it's not flexible, like the palm of my hand. It's what it is. Amen. Assignment are these fingers. Assignments are seasonal and they change. Do you see these fingers? They are so flexible, they can change. No matter how much I can flex these fingers, one thing that can flex is this palm. This palm immediately. I'll make an example with my life. I am called to administer the kingdom of God through the word and through demonstrating the word. That is my purpose, it's here. I, I, it, it can't change. Ukunukulu can't when I'm now 45. That's actually, I called you to be a DJ. It's not possible. Amen. It's not possible. Om Shampangiye, a DJ, he has now called me to lead this worship team. It's not possible. Even if the Lord were to grace me and give me the greatest vocal cords, it purpose I change. It's what it is. I can maybe sing, but I can't now be part of the team. So purpose I change. God, my assignment I change. So many purpose I'm saying in Jalil to administer his kingdom through the preaching and ministration of his word and demonstrating his word. That's my purpose. But what are my different assignments? If you knew Kanye in 2010, you know the greatest evangelist ever in Chesterville in Deben. I was an evangelist. If you knew me in 2012, I, I started what is called the Luke 638 Foundation where we would try get donations and some celebrate to push. I was the greatest philanthropist at that time. Oh my God. Amen. If you know me around 2015, wow, I was a fire preacher. Around 2019 to 2022, a prophet, Sarah's prophet. You see, my assignment is changing. But it's all part of this. And if you know me now, I have changed slightly as well. You see that? So my purpose remains the same. I am still administrating his kingdom. Amen. Through the ministration of his word and through demonstrating his word. When I was out in Chesterville in Durban making sure the whole community is fed, what was I doing? Well, God was doing it, but he was just using me as a mere vessel. We would pray for those food parcels the whole night. 
before we stepped out. Pray for it. Whoever eats this sandwich, I had no church. No me live just until those and at death is saying when I'll come and go to and give a Sunday in Gilapa. We pray to tool off demonstrating his love by bringing souls into his kingdom. So that's the, the purpose rem has remained the same for many, many years. But the assignment in every season, I have changed. If you ask me in 2018, would you start a church? I'd say definitely not. Why? Why would I want such stress and heartache and to give all, all of yourself to people and have people just reject you at any time they want? Why would I? I had Ama buried many great servants at that time and I, I saw their pain and I was like, never, I would never. I think so, figure less cut, lemel assignment is shit. If purpose is a fan, got the assignment is a shit. You understand that? So I want you to understand that because we sometimes use this interchangeably, including myself, just for understanding. But to be honest, I finally learned. Amen. assignment for now is to lead this worship team again, for example. And then, well, let me use Mama because she's already leading it right now. Then, in 10 years' time, you think, I mean, my purpose to lead that. It was shoot him again. That's just my point. It's not your purpose. It's an assignment in the season. We are when Zenja and God says, pack up. You are now going to Europe. Does it mean your purpose has changed? <clears throat> your purpose is to demonstrate him through leading his saints to him through the ministry of worship. The assignment may be second man. In three years' time, it may be heaven forbid. No simple merits outside. I rebuke that neck, Kamal Gajes. But heaven forbid she marries somewhere, Grace, my God. I would have to shoot you and shoot that boy. I'm kidding. It's a joke now. It's a joke. It's not. Uh, <clears throat> Does it mean Bible school? I mean Bible church. <laughs> Come now, I'm trying to not use people's church names. I don't want to be sued. So does it mean Masa say la pesha dele la po she stops singing? It means she just has a new assignment. But the purpose is still the same. Lead his people. Amen. Utwa no goti yours is jewel. It's not just lead his people through worship. It's lead his people through lead people to him through demonstrating him. So you can demonstrate him with song, you can demonstrate him through words, through excellence. If you work, you're a career person. so excellent. It's a purpose, but you change work, don't you? You change careers, don't you? Not careers, but companies and businesses. You see that? So assignments change. They are seasonal. They will change. Amen. But your purpose is a logi funny. Let's look at Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 5. Now, I know you may be here uh, ending your trailer. I would recommend, I don't know if the sound on the live is now good. I would recommend, thank you. I would recommend you listen to this again. Do not be too embroiled. Look, cool. It's good you write notes for yourself. Yes, some only understand. If you it, Okay. Now you may be here, and so was I when I was in high school. Yet I, I'll figure out what I'm called for as I grow older. For now, I just wanna be happy and enjoy my life. Then my son born was old, and I used to think 30 is so old. Then I was like, you when I'm ancient and 30 is old, what a joke. Uh, when I'm older and I start working, my mood up, then I'll bother finding what I'm called for. You see that? So sometimes that is in our heart and in our mind, Ma. Would say, as I grow old and so on, it's not busy learning. It's okay. Mm -mm. A purpose, you don't figure it out along the way. You were born with purpose. That's why here in this scripture, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I sanctified you. I ordained you as a prophet to the nations. When did he ordain him as a prophet to the nations? Before he formed him in his mother's womb. He says he already knew him. He already knew if there's a demon slayer in Alex, I will put Prophet K in 2023. He already knew in the year I was born in 
that year, he knew who was 2023. I needed demon slayer window with Tiwila. And he planted me in my mother's womb. He already knew. He already knew my mistakes. He would knew this girl will fall into inking ayok jola, champing king ayok trala, and whatever mistakes I could have done in my past. He knew, but he knew what I. So long as you move right again, so those by free will, go but fagi free will, so but scared to follow when time. By free will, so vele are they foolish and follow the things of the world? I be slay kui. Gears in some ways again. When a bunny crazy, I'm missing kula kula so prideful. So I'm kind of zealous and get it. And she'll just struggle in a bit of uh, financial distress and bet we are yoga for the pride in Pinagita. Just die, be paralyzed, stop joking. Bet we are yoga, no, let your that, that kid you treasure so much, let him go. Let him, he knew how we will get a prophet in 2023. He knew, okay, but he knew before he even planted me. You see that? So already, Ungulungulu, we are was. We are work begging that. It was better to some work. It's not that, but the bengos. What you ma wa ko mami? I say you go to pregnant. Kungulas, oh my God. Oh my God, mami, you pregnant. Oh mami. I don't think God would have said. He would have used your name, but it's okay. I would. He didn't say, oh my God. Oh so and so, say pregnant. Who's his pig? So now, again, the peppers quickly as a harm. But if she's a good girl, Uma Mia, then in some nigga peppers, it depends whether she'll be good or not on earth. Then in some nigga good peppers. Mm -mm. She was put in her mother's womb because God knew he had a peppers. God had a peppers, an errand to be run on earth. Then what big in our prophets, who's come to ban and keep to ban, who are merely a common to own a was with her peppers. Was a wakata wakfaka in your mother's womb. Then your mother was like, oh my God, I'm pregnant. You see that? So you were placed by God in your mother's womb to meet a certain purpose, to run a certain errand God had in earth. Amen. So you can't say it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a delusion. It's a, it's a, what do you call it? A misnomer that you say, I as in Quebec and in Pelong, so you born in purpose here, not possible. When you let her way on, I thought you don't even have the right. You would say, I'm in the purpose and it's time to go into the world. I'm going to tell you Amen. Who here is employed full time? You go to work. You're employed. Okay. Okay. I'm going to tell you about July. About July, you are employed by a certain company. A city is July PTY company. You are employed by July PTY company, okay? You are employed to do what? What do you do on a daily? Manufacturing. So you need to have the necessary skill and expertise and stamina to manufacture. That's why you are employed. Amen. And they keep you under their employ and they keep providing for you M7 Zin every month end or whenever they provide for you. Why? Because you keep manufacturing and meeting the purpose of Baglete Lion. Can I ask you, Bab July, if you decide actually I'm just not going to go or when I do go, I'll stop manufacturing. I'll just go and tandil, arrive at 12 if I like. Sometimes yet I'm not going. Are they going to keep you in that employ? Are they? No. He's saying no, they won't keep him. Why? Because he's not doing what they called him in that company to do. Do they, are they now under an obligation to keep paying your salary when you don't do the thing? No. Why should they provide for you? So, with the kingdom of God, some people want to be rich, they want resources. What are you going to do with those resources? Lem Shaben Jang and Company and Gulugul, song is Kashu. Kashalu in Deshugili, our different peoples. Omunga Yenzi, there's no need for God. Even the, the promise of protection, it doesn't apply to you. Why should God protect you? You're not doing. No, He's full of love and mercy. Hehehe. Gifunu Gwe, Shagota Meji, Gitalubos, Gitalubos. Eh, eh, it's also going to be Gitalubos. You think God of heaven brought you here on earth just to spoil you. That's what saints think. He brought you here just to spoil 
you and lavish you with his love. And look at Tandi, Lindsay. Egg Messenger, look at Cut Oak, Book Eat, Book Eat, Mush, Mush, Hamba, Hamba, we are rich. Hamba, we are joyful, we happy. You think God of heaven? No, I see the memes you sometimes repost. What means for me will never miss me. What? Whatever's meant for when they are going to go look at the tele of spoiler. You are a worker with seven. Jabu laws or seven and unkulunku. We am seven and a year. God, I am issuing you a warning prophetically. What umung am seven and they won't have an obligation to make sure he's covered. They won't have an obligation to pay his salary. They don't even need to uh, 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 protect him. I'm sure now they have workers' protection or insurance. protect. protect. Resources. He can actually just go to the other kingdom. The precious believer. Yeah. Joy. But but baby for my country. Light, love, and something. You think God brought you here? Ukzok Jabli and Jakit as Chabuli. Pilegashi. Numtenwa kumaza gumnan. You were brought here as a worker to run an errand for God. In order to enjoy his covering, his protection, and his resources and remuneration, you need to make sure you are running that errand. I'm saying today, please listen up so that you can understand that errand and start walking in accordance with it. Go by as matters stand, you are in danger. Please go to Ephesians. Uh, do chapter 2 verse 10 for we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for one two three for we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for you were created to work. You were created to work. You were created to work. You were created in Him for good works, which God prepared beforehand. We have one day of Jeremiah, who told me that I was going to go and I had ordained you as a prophet. So here, he in the New Testament, he emphasizes it again with guys, guys, guys. You were created to work. That that work my designer before Uzo was with you back on a hook. I'm going to long say that that's not the only piece of social and fire. Glam that keep on a beggar with spell it to some work. Are you doing good works? Are you doing good works? Or you just living? YOLO! Life is short. Make yourself happy. Can I tell you that's demonic? It's about me. I must just make wealth for me and my family and be happy. The Lord never promised, promised us happiness. Please, Dad. Oh. You'll make it. Give me two minutes. You'll make it. Study your Bible. I will collect some good created you to be happy. He never, in fact, can I shock you? He created you so that in your good works, He can be happy. Go to Revelation 4 11 in King James. In fact, you were created not that you can be happy, that he can be happy through you. Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory, honor, and power. For you have created all things. For your pleasure, you have created them. For your pleasure. When I'm up to look at all the law, what pillar when you spoil, you 
were created to work and to make God happy. It's a lumzula. Gang said, Baba and Gesha are welcome my notes. So I have nothing guiding me. Must I just keep going and going and going and going? Baba and Abangol, we say, Peggy, wash us. Yabo manj, sing from half and that's a personal. Can I go personal? So, so, oh, yes, like Mam Jula. Mam Jula sings or Sala, little bit gang said. Velek hamba my notes. Velek hamba my notes and get no more on your leg. Must one go lose Hela was up. Amen. So I want everybody to understand that. No you were created for. Why? For thy pleasure they are and were created. Amen. It's Lord, you, re- you need to receive all glory on and power for you created all things and for your pleasure they are and were created. He created all things and everything for his own pleasure. was to run those errands or good works as umjablis. Now you may be sitting there saying, This is so good, it's so good. But Mina, what in those good works? What is my good work? Amen. Let's look at that. One, let's understand the umbrella purpose for men. If you are writing notes, you can write understanding the original and umbrella purpose for all men. Understanding the original and umbrella purpose for all men. Now, every purpose under the sun is under this overall umbrella purpose. purpose Amen. Then from that purpose, we will narrow it down, filter it down. purpose within the umbrella purpose of all men. Go to Genesis chapter 1, verse 27. We'll read 27 and 28. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Uh, mm. If we continue reading here, it says, On the seventh day, God rested from his work. What? what? From his? Okay. God on the seventh day, one day we'll look at is it works or work, but I'm not interested in that today. I guess it's work, works. Nji. He rested from his works. Let's say works for now, okay? He created us in his image and in his likeness. If God works and he creates us with his fuzayen, it means we are workers. Already know your purpose is linked to working. It's good. That can be purpose. That is work. Right. Starting your business, that is work. It's okay. Waking up and doing something for God, that is the good works he's talking about. But we'll look at it in detail last week, next week. Okay, go back. Then God blessed them. This is the umbrella purpose for all mankind. Then God blessed them and God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over every living thing that moves on the earth. Amen. Fivefold purpose, fruitful, multiply, multiply, subdue, and dominate. Should be five. I'm missing one. Be fruitful, multiply, fill the earth or populate. Amen. Subdue and have dominion. It pleases God when you are fruitful, but Do you see lesson as by Lily? It, it's linked to somebody working. Do you see that? It's linked to somebody working. Amen. How can I employ you at Kanye PTY Limited? And when clean, how can I keep giving you a salary? How can I keep keeping you under my employ? Please wake her up. She's awake now. Don't look back. It's you. Please wake up. Get up. I won't judge you now. Please, nothing judge. It's stretch. Open your pants. 
Amen. Amen. You can stand up and stretch yourself and just utu zit upindu shale pants. It's not it al. It al utu velula le julaj. That's it al. Amen. Oh Satan is. Do you not see what Satan is doing? Gas 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 de la tua bale kaga tu pizza. Go bale yon exercising alut. It's the truth. It's over says it's good to praise God. God will their life be changed? It's like bale kaga. Ata gum na du su raundi in sondolong. Masasa kulunya ne purpose in deso shinji pili waku Satan utlal. Gitu mvumele la ni ke na umdal. Akeko, umundo wa gualala, ui present worship. Akeko futu umundo wa gualala kuwa ma announcements. So exasegwa, ama minister zala, u pastor nchagano, Isaac, bekre kama joke, kumnande, ha 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 ha. If you go worship timbalega, ah, kwa se kumnande ya ken. When it's now the word, the Lord is changing your life today. Amen. Abanye ba vuswa sektiwa zeki ba 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 sekti mama sabo oh zeki kulek apegi wash oh sek peli abu ya fuz next week pala please stop allowing Satan ukzala ngao gisera sbanzo el angin tele I'm being honest I know from first hand ba ukzala li zukfira lo katala sometimes kubenga taksa concentrate it's am I lying? Am I a liar? I know when somebody's minister I know the thing. But what I do is I do this. I'll even round my neck sometimes. Sometimes I'll even do this. I can't miss it. 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 I a purpose that's cool, man. It's gonna change your life. I'm being dead serious. Amen. Okay. So this is the overall purpose of all mankind. Amen. Do you know why God, why uh, Adam committed high treason, better the fruit? Do you know why? Because he abdicated purpose. I used to ask myself, why is God so mean? Why does he make a person go back to the moon to just by eating a fruit? Man is booze. So, when we song, we're now subjected to sin, the law of sin and death, and to toil and hard work because some man and his wife ate a fruit. I was like, no, God, please. Sounds like narcissism to me. What's going on? And the Lord had to reveal to me what he wasn't mad they ate a fruit, he was mad that they abdicated purpose. How did they abdicate purpose? One of the things Amele Babe Nazo is to do what dominate over fish, sea, birds, and every crawling thing. They were supposed to dominate over the serpent, but they allowed the serpent to dominate over them. Therefore, they abdicated purpose. The highest tree seen, Exi on Ugulalumunt, it alel cool, Guamo, Exi on Ugulalumunt, it alel cool, Guamo, ya unga ham, being gentle, or abiselang. Inga ako ba telwindo? Aba telwa ngangu ba ba different. I'm almost tempted to say, first, if they had gone and partaken of the fruit, but it wasn't the serpent that told them. They just went. They would have just been guilty of disobedience, and they could have come and repented, and the Lord could have helped them. But they allowed a serpent. Ata de chile ugu to have dominion over every living thing that moves. Their purpose is to dominate over every. The next chapter, those things are dominating over them. Kungulu was labek si bonaban be purpose. That was the highest reason. A purpose give a legit. Inga ko abanye ben we feeling sick this morning. Or you were feeling so tired. Inga to shy you this morning. Oh, oh, ban labo. Niyaz tengi show. Yes, yes. You were feeling so drained. Why? Gobu satanu ya zuzozo in all the heart. Uzozo in the shulu Adam no Eve. Uzozo in all. Between men and God, that's why He'll make you sleepy, so tired, a bit sick, a bit unwell, a bit grumpy, a bit moody. This is truly the good news. 
Surely this is the good news. Surely this is the gospel. We are both angagash who tattoo chairs, cot and gishumayela into the gospel. Gabon, gisholoka debe corner last week. Uguti, gospel of salvation is so good, but it's not the only gospel. Amen. So, this is the overall purpose. Amen. In our conscience, in Batabiela band, eh, get a loser make me not a young man. In our combatabiela abantu, eh, Abatata Ungulungulu Ati, you have dominion over every living thing. In other words, when we tell you every living thing is over animals. And in their conscience, who Adam. We purpose and good and good, or good tea, what abdicates the purpose, or good avunia, or dominate, or intercept, or bend, or in a right dominate as his purpose. Given these bulls, what how is it possible then you will get a goat that can be every living thing? If we are dumb, was a kelu boot and on good and good, go for melling yog, imparte, when a job of melling boozic pate. Zamukraki joking Yabu, singer Gong Taga Zume in Bobanga Fisa Bekonoba delivered. Boba Connot Yabu Jesu Pona footing in Tadagab, footings of figure can go to a gum crebello so is Laban Impus in an impus. In King Guguti Wabi Zelo would go bueno chelling boos with Yenzen, I'll be Zelong to chell him boos with your cool men. The overall purpose for men is to dominate over everything, to multiply, to subdue, to fill the earth. That's why it's also illegal, Bab July. All are my substances who we want to dominate. It's illegal. It's illegal. Who would be so addicted to porn? Or so addicted to porn? To be so addicted to your phone and social media. Baba Wabi is allowed to have dominion over all things. So whenever things have dominion over you, Gishimali, Gishimali, Abanya Bebenge na Maluba Oti Azu Dipra Use Galenhel. Hello, my child, how are you? Hey, Prophet Siazam. Uvele Ngoti Mali. Today, corn in Joyenza, you see, Abola was fruitful for God. Icon. Oh, you relax, so. I'm not the pillow, relax, and I'm getting to relax. I was unemployed for just over two years. Initially, obviously, so painful, so sad, losing stuff, what a what so painful. Around the middle of the ten, I'm over nine, because you know I'm just relaxing now. I just wake up, switch on the TV, yo. I eat and I sleep. Then maybe once or twice a week, I will pray and go live and maybe pray for people. Not say, yo Lord, I've worked so hard to pray for those people. So for the rest of the week, I'll relax. <laughs> the Lord came to me in a vision during that period and said, you are becoming lazy. Be careful not to be disqualified because you're sluggard. Do you know being lazy is a sin? Sluggardness. God said that you'll be disqualified for being a sluggard. Over Just do the bare minimum for God. Just a bit preaching online. And you know, I'd get so many views and so many. Now I think it's so because I left social media for over a year. I don't have views now. Maybe only 20 people will share. That time I'd have thousands share. Like I had I had influence on social media. So I'd go in there, talk nonsense. Just say motivational rubbish. You are making it. I see the Lord saying we are all making it. Yes, we know we know that Kanye. But Vele Pela, people love that stuff they would share. Then I say, Oh Lord, I've I've told the people they'll make it. They are so happy. I will now relax. And the Lord kept providing. I ankazing lalinga zile ngali opirot ngakuna ngsamna nelo kulalinga zile. Le opirot ankazing lalinga zile. Ungun ungun kept providing for me. So ungbona le provision gets high. She's going to be so pleased with me. And I'd relax. And the Lord said, be careful not to be disqualified because of sluggardness. Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Subdue in rebo, subdue minerals, subdue atmospheres. Abanyindomelu subdue atmosphere yangakin. 
atmosphere nga kini azi ikasel. You need to subdue it. Okay. Psalm 139 verse 16. We are looking at the umbrella purpose. Ukulumu David. Ukuluma referring to God. Your eyes saw my substance being yet an unformed okay so before he was formed in his mother's womb he's saying god saw his substance and in your book they were all written the days fashioned for me when as yet there were none of them so before you formed me before you formed me you knew me and all the days of my life how i should walk you had written them in your book now if you were here when we were teaching about the second coming of jesus we said there is a book uh, that God writes about you. Then there's a book of remembrance. No, book of accounts, apologies. And so at Bewa let book, but some people write here that all so go mele when they look. But the book of accounts, it let Bala how you deviated and actually did something else. And some people look, nenzi ulai ninge we lagu ke Bible in guest abangela ngabuga ma move kakul. One by one, local works a by Berlin look. One by one, yeah, to back. Eh, ngang tango 2023, getting also a millionaire. Oh, 2023, ngang tango was a millionaire. Eh, why? And you have to account. Gizamu vusumuntu who's just in in slumber, spiritual slumber. Oh, as yena jutswe zela laguba spoiled. And yes, you know what God wants you to do, but you don't do it. But He so mercifully forgives you. There's a book of accounts, but I need collab. David says the days that were fashioned for me, God knew them and had written them in a book. And He knew how you should walk. And He knew how you should fulfill that original purpose in Genesis 1, 27 that we read. Now, that's the overall umbrella purpose. Let's look at how do you know your purpose. And we'll stop there today. So your first subject was the original umbrella purpose for all men. The second topic for today, as we close under purpose, uh, how to know your purpose, comma, it's by desire. How to know your purpose, comma, it's by desire. Yes, Bob, it's by desire. How do I know my purpose? Go to Psalm 37 verse 4. How do I know my purpose? Somebody's asking them. It's good. I now know God wants me to be fruitful, to multiply, to fill the earth, subdue and have dominion. So good. That's for every man. It's generic food. For me as Kanye, what does God want me to do? Psalm 37 verse 4. Okay. Let's now please concentrate on this one. Delight yourself also in the Lord and he shall give you the desires of your heart. Are you listening to me? How do I know my purpose? By delighting yourself also in the Lord, and He shall give you the desires of your heart. Now, those who will recall when I taught this, they'll know what I mean, but let me explain it for the benefits of everyone. This scripture doesn't say, if us listen or sin, whatever we know it's handai, that's not what it means. The word give there is very ten. If you have a, a, a Bible that has a lexicon or can give you the original a text of the word, it's very ten. It's, it, let, let me see. Very ten. Yes, it's very ten. Which means to put or to set. So what that scripture means originally, delight yourself in God and he will put desires in your heart. Or he will set desires in your heart. Meaning whenever you desire something, God has put it in your heart and that's linked to your purpose. Do you understand that? De for God to be able to put, apologies, for God to be able to put his purpose, his purpose in your heart, or his de to put he what he desires from his desire bank. For example, let's say this. Who's going to evangelize in this place called Q? Okay, that's what God desires. So what God does is he takes that desire from his heart and he looks for anybody who's delighting in him. He checks, oh, is there anyone delighting in him? Oh, 
there's no mtandazo, she's delighting in me. Then he takes that purpose and he puts it in your heart. Then all of a sudden you like preaching in queue for some reason. For some reason you like standing by the corner giving people pamphlets, inviting them to church. It's that you delighted in him. Then what he desires, he took it and put it in you. So that you desire what he desires. So whenever you, 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 you not show what your purpose is, first delight yourself in the Lord. When you are delighting yourself in the Lord, check your heart. What's usually as your purpose. You understand that? You first delight. Maybe next week we'll look at what it means to delight. But in Jebangweli, delight in the Lula, who spend this cast on Gulungulu, we have a lax season, and then Abam Bell Abam Tandu Gulugul Abam Tand Abam Tand Abam Bell Gulugul What says a Kyle? Ab... If anyone here is prophetic, you'll know what I'm talking about. He's always crying back to lie. Abam to Abam Tand. They look up to him, they honor him, and Oh, thank God he's going to save me. When Jesus comes, I'm saved and born again. It's so good. What about my hand? Mom, what happened? Do you love your husband? Please say yes so it's not awkward. Yes. She loves Bamotab. How do we know you love Bamotab? One, you live with him. Two, I'm sure you are so grateful he's back. You want to spend time with him. Is this true? So, so you love him, you want to spend time with him. If he says, please, my wife, this weekend, let's not mm, go out. Let's please spend time. Please do this for me. You do it. Why? Because you love him. The reason he says, we don't measure your love for him by the lovely hymns the worship team leads us to sing. We am Lalela in. Mam Chula, we am Lalel Mam Chula. Go on. We am tired. We are born to jam over Unkulungulet's medicines and she. Also, now to Unkulungulu. As Kulumang a picnic, for example. I'm telling you, God said He wants me and Him and Ken to thank you. It's God. You know, I've said it's Him. So you are where God says. Yen as a wedding of it. No, I'm tired. It's the truth. You run there, so expectant, so happy, you can't wait. You know, you go manipulate, you can't wait. You not have him in his heart. You not have him in his heart. Who are those bad people? You can't wait. You can't wait. You're like, oh God, I'll pray later. I just need to shower quickly. Hey, my boss is waiting for me. You don't love him. If you want, if you want him to put your purpose in your heart, i.e. his desire concerning you in your heart, so that you desire or want what he wants, you will need to first delight yourself in him. So perfectly. It could be God does give that grace, but it's not perfection, it's obedience. There's a difference. That's not perfection, but it's obedience. So once you have delighted in the Lord, He's able to give you this, He's able to take into a bizelo ayona ilande mazului ni ay fagenti zweniako. Mas sentli zweniako leyon it becomes what is called a burden. It becomes a burden. The burden is the implementation of your purpose. It's that burdening you. I remember there was a time no sipa could not sleep. I could not sleep when from Friday actually because my lectures would end Friday morning. I was still a student at that time. 
They pay and the leg. I'm like, my God. Things are you sure my Chesterfield? At Chesterfield, there are gangsters with real guns. Uh, there are people who are shambe. They, they, they used to mock me. I was such a joke. But I didn't care. Something in me could not rest until I tell people about Jesus. What happened? Let me, let, can I testify a bit? Okay. Oh, let me say I was born again. Amen. You should look much earlier, early high school, but I continued living like I'm crazy. You show where I saw a serious difference. That same year, I, I couldn't even consume alcohol. I'd drink it, I'd vomit it out. I tried, I vomited out. I started reading the Bible from cover, Genesis to Revelation. Then Gizeng Ilfunde backwards from Revelation, Mbuye and Gitijut. Gibuye and Gitaitas, Mbuye. I'd even read it backwards. I just kept, I kept reading the word. And as I was doing that, I'm doing what is called delighting in him. And as I delighted in him, unknowing at that time, I don't even remember any preacher to be honest. And you've done this before. I was like, nonsense. Amen. Waved. I'm like, please continue with my life. Except my life didn't continue as normal. I tried to have a drink, it would come out. I tried to sleep, that's what the only prayer I knew from my background of Methodist, where I came from. No, I feel like I should be saying more to you. I need more. And I'd get annoyed. I would say, so it wasn't business as usual. I went there, I received him, I wiped my tears, I'm like, stop this nonsense. But I've changed. As a result, I kept seeking him in his word. I kept praying. When, if, there's, if you are real, Uzo's verse, I mean. Because why now I can't drink alcohol in peace? Why now I walk in into Cuban, I feel like screaming and running away. Cuban is a club, for those who don't know. Go Florida Road, it's a good corner I was in. Now Florida, I was I have a feeling was Yet, I am Gekama Uber, that's a box why in Lamatex, I said, Deben, the Ubers. Yes, yes, in a Florida road. What an heise. I think since the song I saw is now the next weekend. That's it. What? I felt so uncomfortable. And I was like, no, 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 no. I even said, you stupid God. I've repented for it. Because I'm like, this is stupid. Why now can I enjoy? What's wrong with you? Are you even real? Then show yourself. All I can do when I pray, say, Baba, it was a Zulu in Mangonis. I'm tired. Show me more. In my rent, show me Rabo Kotopo. I'm the people. Oh my God, you answered me. You are real. You Okay, if you are real, can I please tell somebody you are real and they truly accept you? That's how it started. So, when I go to Florida, I go to the shopping mall, I go to the shopping mall, I go to the long and short of it, I go to the cat. Well, that following weekend, in fact, it was Thursday. Go back. I see. Can we share this on Thursday? So see, can I test it? Around six, I must be home. Shower quickly. Run to my one and only lecture for Friday. Make great. And I'm getting bang on it. Peli, Lisi, Shai. This high number three. I spend ready my girls. Number three, Siba ready. Siba bathe. All right. Let us now know 50 rand. What does he have with Namfanja? So it's that is. It's a pitiful life. It's not. It's no life at all. <laughs> One day I'll tell you. Yet again, it was a cab, florid. What an highs. Yet again, this is stupid. That was stupid. That was stupid. 
Two rights, it's hang rights, guys. But yes, I guess contact color would mean I shouldn't be here. That can sell our money spin. Nespin the CB mean CB spin the sun. That can sell a matting guy, gain the little mass. That's been gain a cube and go back at one of my demon. Well, it was actual demons, a secular pin. I saw people who were depressed. I can't explain it. Nang bona, sisi kona ule said nang bona too depressed. Ufunguz bulan. Nang bona lang bona. Oh shame! They have HIV and they're not happy. Labo mundo dance ane clapping kumnan, but I could see their hearts. They're unhappy and they are sick. Some have been abused. Some have been raped. And I was like, this is such a sad place. And I got really mad at God. But why are you spoiling this fun? I ask you to make yourself real. What what's going on? Labon. I forgot why I'm sharing the testimony. Oh, so because of that, I started seeking him more. Every morning, get say, please show yourself more because I'm call on him. Any day, go by, go to. I'm a, I'm a spanta gang, right? At that time, then get little son. Don't be look bad. Yeah, imposi. Na 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 na. You got imposi, and nobody would explain scripturally, and I'm like. I have people, family members who passed on that I love. Send this dinner by my demon. So I, I yet I just had Leonka and my mother boots. I can't accept Lilva again. It's just unfortunately it wasn't taught well at the time to me. And I sought God for myself in the morning, at school, in the evening. That's not tell my girls. Who said my girls have been no damage? Me naksa vumi. Bashlega bata ingeke. Omunye is my cousin. Abanye bamas. But say, oh, what a joke. But no, say, as let us on to a naked shy. Come on, Matty, ah, calling tens, I got a Don't worry, it'll die off. It's been almost 18 years, it hasn't died off. It's still alive and kicking. It's still alive and kicking. Who imagine you got that? Hey, why no album? Hey, I'm calling a bell. Why no album for this? But I delighted myself. The point is, I'm full. I'm longing for It can't be. Why now can't I do the things I wanted to do? And as I sought him, I started delighting in him. Lendo ka did dini when gim gim bela ngu gum full no guti when anko no gul. Are you even real? Kwa shin jawa buta And as I loved him and I kept being interested by his word, kakala majinga ba ne desire. And he put his this dead desire he had for me. It's my purpose. I think you've realized. And I've never stopped since. In loss and pain, I've never stopped. So as we close our Bibles, I'll stop here today. I'm not done, but I'll stop here today. As we close our Bibles, it pays to delight in the Lord. If you are interested in walking in purpose, you will have to allow yourself to delight in him. When you delight in him, he's able to put his desires in your heart. Then you start walking in purpose and in meaning. Impilo yako aksasi impilo yoguti msebenze luguti mtolu guja gipinde gibe ni malio kibela ke msebenze ilu. Au sa pile luguti, hey, uguti oma glale jemi na lumti nwa msi right. Mm-mm. There's more to that. Little Bible, if he can clothe the lily that withers today, a pillar sasa it dies. He his eyes on the sparrow. His sparrow bangwele is not a bed in a nest where if he gets a to go to the nest, I'm a sparrow at the water when I'm a nest. I shall is cash on a hand, but still he feeds them. How much more you? Low my needs or good and so forth. I don't want to make it frivolous, it's very important. But I'm saying when you are walking in purpose, he can take care of you. He can oh he can take care of you. What a funny purpose. And look at if you have not desired and delighted yourself in him. Can we stand on our feet? Start 
started when I came here the Lord kept saying he's a father he's a father he's a father and I, I feel it's coming back so this has nothing to do with the teaching but I'll you may be here and you say you know what I can't relate to God as a father I, I know him as he, he is called a father and I call him father I know him as a God and but I equal he's my daddy I you got that thing where I feel I'm sitting on his lap and he's just holding me. It's very good. But I, I, I can't relate to him as a daddy. Uh, let's pray for ourselves. Let's pray for ourselves for now. Just pray for yourself. Lord, can I relate to you as a daddy? I won't call an altar call for this. I'll ask that we ask Kulegela wherever you are. That you relate to him as a dad. Papers. If you can't relate to God as a father, it's possible Uguti, you don't know how it feels to be loved by an earthly father or an earthly parent. If you are here and you say, you know what, that's me. I don't know what it's like to be loved by an earthly father or an earthly parent. I've always felt abandoned. I maybe he is gonna help you today. Please come. Please come. I don't know what it feels like. And because I don't know what it feels like, it's hard to relate to God as a father. Angazu Baba Mela Bichani. Let me just say to you, he's able to love you more than an earthly father. And before Ngulungulu umshoni pe umtande, jenge nkos no msindis, let me speak to you you've got your father when your father rebukes you do you leave his house no why don't you leave your father's house although he's so mean and he keeps rebuking you uh, because he loves me and I love him that's why when God doesn't give you what you wanted, you can't stay in him because you don't receive him as a father. You can do all things. Mm -mm. He's not just in 
Mushu kuti nomu baba nga kupate langa lendo kwa tumukela yuna for months. You still stay with him. Gobu babu wako ya mtanda na hibi ya mtanda. Sene tene sidil. Just ask him, Lord, help me to receive you as a father. I never had an earthly father or he abandoned me. And today I would like to receive that love. Lala put.
no longer excites you. Mm -mm. It doesn't mean you are not called for it. It means you are not continually delighting. That's why even that desire stops being a desire. You see that? You need a technology for delight. Please come forward. Lord, help me to delight. I gave you a testimony that I did not even, I don't go around telling it, where I just kept delighting. Because I needed to know, yin lending to me, yin lending to me. Even today, I continue delighting because if I stop, I won't even come to services. Shipaku ya bukato, si paru katepesi, isha pesi teli broto ziade, shapata brisi, shapo kosi.
ne sjete, ma roska kjer je pere pe sjete, na zvoko doške teli, pa noko to, išja pa kata pa rakata, izja peke te peke, šta pura su veli, pa poli pa taka ske tele, beli pa bote tala, ja pa tak jete, nam pa pa katele, pa pa čila pa patio, in še ne še, nam pa pa katele, še ne še,
technically we've come to the end of the service. It's now time for Thanksgiving. But the Lord is allowing someone an opportunity who wishes to enter in God or you me zone. Amen. In God or you me zone. It's something we don't do anymore. Um, I'm guilty as well. But as I'm praying for the last set of saints, the Lord says, allow people the opportunity. Why? Because the Bible says, confess your sins to one another so that you may be healed. Any healing, gengi fi gengi beg uzani, melu vumiso, iso. Melu vumiso, no anti challenge, anti challenge. It's a challenge because you call it a challenge, it's sin. With all the labor who are interested, they can come forward and allow the Lord to help them. And then we can close the service. Amen. Bang Sunday, la bang toile. Bang Sunday, la. Bang Sunday, la bang toile. Go see the season. Sakoni zinto. Onge gusi zaga lekzon. Onge gasu vumi son. But now we understand that we are told that we are emergency until we are not going to be a hindrance or an obstacle. Siba is Kubegi essentially, and it's like somebody puts a rock, you are on the highway, you want to get to your destination, but there's a big rock. That's how sin is your journey. So if you want to remove the rock, you have to confess there's a rock. Somebody remove it, and the Lord is able to remove it. What was that? Put. I'll start this side. And we'll, after that, we're gonna trust the Lord. He has healed you from whatever it is. And after that, you just see a breakthrough to like a highway because you've removed this big rock.
Zalwan. May we all stand and pray and thank the Lord in the wonderful name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I pray that we may all walk in purpose in the mighty name of Jesus. Baba, we turn a man that see a man that now come at distractions. Ascends a singer, I'm the good purpose. I can make you like Jesus. See a bonga, God. See a bonga, see a bonga. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Father. I can make you like Jesus. We shall walk in purpose. Le kote la mahasita ni kadoche. Ila mama si katori antele boske. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Father, we shall walk in purpose. In Jesus' mighty name. Father, we give you the praise. We give you the praise. Sia monga mo ito ele for such a word. Eka meni liga chesu. Eka meni liga chesu. Ute tile nanti. Ute teno bomi betu. Ugu tengo si ya tingangala. Si muyele. Si ambe we purpose. In Jesus' mighty name. Father, we give you the praise. Eka meni liga chesu. Sia monga, sia monga, sia monga, sia monga. Tiko wetu na mata onge. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen, Basalwane. Now that we know that we have to walk in purpose. Hallelujah. Little by little, all things work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to his purpose. When we walk in purpose, all things work together for our good. Amen. I don't know about you. I've heard God today. Hallelujah. Talking to me. Hallelujah. When you walk in purpose, you struggle no more because God is feeding you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Basal sing a Sondela with our Thanksgiving offering. City Baba Siabonga Siabonga. That now we have the ability to walk in temples in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Gaitola, gaitola esane, solo kungaitola, yango bazo kisido. Kanti yini le gaitola, gaitola esane, solo kungaitola.
Amen. Humbly so we'll call our mother to come forward for a benediction. Thanksgiving offering see parts in years of Angel. If Nambella in Malgatuna is two hundred rand, and the show I shouldn't, who was Fagum Nigello with free will, but Thanksgiving, Ibalekil. Go be honest, Silla Umsebens got the swans and Nezo Bangwell. And Funu was no more five rand, go to the fowl and impel. Got a six oak green. Faga Mosuk Filus, I clamp a basso tingalo ten rand, numbers of tingale, and go no fag. Faga was son, go back to Silla. Lend to Unga Tens and get Elasis Fundis along Kuba Silla, amen. There's this song, and I pray the saints who think this may be a joke, please don't laugh, I'm being serious. As I'm standing there, I hear this song we once heard, I was ministering somewhere in Kizit, and it's rejoice in the Lord, I say rejoice. And Lord Dalil, and I smile, and Lord Dalil in my head. And the Lord is saying that will be our testimony. Amen. We'll just keep rejoicing, and rejoicing, and rejoicing. I don't know if the worship team knows it, Instead of benediction, I want you to minister that song because that's the song, that's the benediction. Humble with the joy of the Lord. I could sing it myself, but rejoice in the Lord.
benediction. Say benediction, Ile. If I told her, I'm going to go to the church. 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 I'm going to